audience. Special ninja combination decoder ring and fish scaler in every box. <laughs> Hot dog! <laughs> <laughs> Have a guy, you busy? <clears throat> I was just eating breakfast, Herb. <laughs> yeah, well, if I don't get some help here, I'm never going to be able to eat breakfast again. And neither will anyone in my family. What is it this time, Herb? I really do my best around here, but, you know, you know, times are hard. People aren't buying like they used to, and since you took away my draw, I, I just can't make it on commissions alone. Well, things are tough all over, Herb. Look, I, I am <laughs> desperate, big guy. Hi, Dad. Mr. Carlson? Oh, little Herb. Hi. What a surprise. My son, are you busy? Does it look like I'm busy? I'm just here begging for my life, but hey, come on in. <laughs> I just dropped by to tell you something very important. <laughs> well, shoot, kid. I mean, what else could happen to me? I'm gonna get married! <laughs> Baby, if you've ever wondered Wondered whatever became of me I'm living on the air in Cincinnati Cincinnati WKRP Up and down the dial Maybe you and me were never meant to be Just maybe think of me once in a while I'm a WKRP in Cincinnati I'm gonna get married Loosen his tie What about the shoes? Take his shoes off You take his shoes off <laughs> Lift his, his feet above his head Take his jacket off. That jacket would make anybody faint. Slap him. Hard. I can do that. No, 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 no. Just, just leave me alone. It's my fault. I guess I broke the news too fast. Yeah. I mean, why couldn't you just come in here and say, good morning, Dad. Beautiful day. Oh, it looks like the Reds finally got the pitching. And speaking of strikeouts, I'm going to get married and ruin my life. Getting married is not going to ruin the kid's life, Herb. Why not? It ruined mine. <laughs> we are in love, Dad. You're too young to be in love. No, I don't know about that. Juliet was only 13 when she married Romeo. I don't think that really happened, Nancy. Yes, it did. <laughs> Could I have a few minutes with my ungrateful son? Sure, sure. sure no problem. Just wait right here. Alone? Oh. 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 Don't want to help with your friends. I've got a lot of other things yeah. to do. Well, sure. Well, I'll do it. Yeah. Yeah. Herb? Uh. You need anything at all? Just call Nancy. <laughs> this is going to kill your mother. Isn't that what you've always wanted? <laughs> Just kidding. You know, the next thing you're going to tell me is that uh, you dropped out of school. You have no idea how to get a job. Well, it, it wasn't the next thing. Oh, God, why don't you just shoot me? I, I thought you'd be happy about this. She's pregnant, isn't she? No, Dad. D see, I knew this was going to happen. It's not like that at all. Well, what's it like, then? I don't know. This is a new feeling for me. Uh, you're only 20 years old, for crying out loud. Every feeling you get is going to be new. Oh. This time, I'm really in love. I begged you not to give up basketball. <laughs> What's more important than love? Lots of stuff. I mean, first of all, who is this girl? I mean, is she someone you picked up at a bowling alley who chews gum in her sleep? Of course not. She's from a very nice family. Oh, son, son. Th they all are. Let me tell you something. I'm being straight with you. You're making a big mistake. Besides, weddings cost a fortune, and I'm tapped out at the moment. The bride's parents will pay for it. <laughs> yeah. What with? Tacos and bring your own bottle? 
<laughs> I don't think so. After all, this is Cindy Hightower. Uh, Hightower? <laughs> Not uh, the Hightower of construction and plumbing. Yeah. <laughs> they got millions. Right. When's the wedding? <laughs> you think you should have tipped that major D. Oh, hello, everybody. Oh, you. Oh, how was lunch at that exclusive town club? Oh, with the most exclusive thing that you could imagine. Oh, I bet. I've always wanted to go there. My mother's a member. She won't take me. <laughs> Well, the Hightowers are members, of course, and they said that after the wedding, they're going to put Herb and me up for membership. Wow, I bet that's pretty expensive. <laughs> Is the president from Arkansas? Oh. Well, now, Herb, I know it's a little out of our range now, but I can dream, can't I? Yeah, you can do that. It was so lovely. They had this swan ice sculpture in the dining room, and it's only Tuesday. Ice sculptures are very zen, don't you think? <laughs> what did you have for lunch? Oh, every dish was a little trip to taste but heaven. First, we started with this garden fresh salad. Looked like the stuff I pull out of the cracks in the driveway. <laughs> it's arugula, Herb. Then for the main course, I've never seen anything like it. A lobster the size of a six-year-old kid. I've got one of the claws on the car. <laughs> Some people really know how to live. Hey, how'd you like Clarice Hightower? Oh, she is wonderful. And do you know she goes to Neiman Marcus in Dallas twice a year to buy her wardrobe? That's expensive. Well, that's what I like about Clarice. If it isn't expensive, she doesn't do it. Yeah. Hey, uh, what about Mr. Hightower? I don't think he liked me much. No? No. Well, he's a busy man. You know, managing millions is really hard work. He was perfectly nice. But every time Lucille mentioned us being one big happy family, he kind of got this growling sound in the back of his throat. Uh, yeah, that's I it. I get that yeah. sound. <laughs> that's only natural, don't you think? I mean, your son has taken away his little girl. Well, then he ought to be mad at my son. I didn't do anything to him. <laughs> Look at this invitation. See, that's real engraving, not just printing. Let me see that. Oh, yeah, you can feel it. Oh. <laughs> How come they always write RSVP on these things? Well, they're asking for a response, you know, they're saying that you're going to be there. I know that. How does RSVP say that? Oh, well, it's French, Nancy. Yeah. No, it's not. The letters are in English. <laughs> uh, so what are your plans uh, for the rehearsal dinner? What? It's the groom's family's responsibility to give a little dinner after the rehearsal. How little is this little dinner? Well, just a wedding party and a few close friends. No more than 30. 30 people? I, I, I can't afford to feed 30 people. I can't even afford to feed us. Well, we have to do something, Herb. <sighs> I'm not going to be embarrassed in front of the president of the Lyric Opera. Now, this is my big chance. <sighs> I'm late for my dressmaker's appointment. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye, Bye. you. I'm going to be ruined. <clears throat> maybe there's something we can do to help. Yeah, maybe you could give me back my draw and, and advance on next year's commissions. <clears throat> maybe there's another way. <laughs> Where are they? My quesadillas can wait no longer. <laughs> Amigos! Está preparado? <laughs> okay. How do I look? Woo. You should have your own 900 number. Uh, goody. No, 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 where you go, dear? Is everything ready? Oh, uh, well, um, there, it's not much here, but it's as ready as it's gonna get. Uh, are these guys legal? Yeah, don't worry about it. No booze. Where's the big guy? He's coming. He called. Don't worry. All right. 
Ah, uh, Lucille, how was the rehearsal, huh? Oh, it was lovely, Razor. Clarice's shoes were made out of real frog. Mm. <laughs> we have any beer? Oh, sure, yeah, yeah, in the kitchen. I'll get you. Thank you. Herb, promise me one thing. What? We're not as well off as the high towers, but that doesn't mean that we can't have manners just as good as rich people. Okay. So please don't embarrass me. Okay. 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 Thank you. Mr. <laughs> 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 have no fear. The moon's is here. Good. Right over there. <laughs> Oh, hi. Come right on in. Yeah, let's go back. Orale, muchacha. <laughs> Knock yourself out, Lester. Couldn't afford anything with a cork? <laughs> go, hi, hi, hi. Come right on in. Nice, nice to meet you. Yes, my pleasure. From the church, right? Yeah, go ahead. Oh, hi, Mark. Oh, Herb, uh, this is Amber. Hi. Hello, I'm sure. Oh, so am I. <laughs> Money? Huh? What the hell is this? She said I could bring a date. Yeah, but I didn't say she should be on salary. <laughs> it was short notice. <laughs> Besides, she comes highly recommended. Yeah, yeah, but just keep her away from Lucille. Uh, Amber, Amber. Yeah. Just go right over there, help oh. yourself to whoever you see. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Gracias, Lucille. The, the Spanish motif. Actually, it's Mexican. It's Herb's idea. <laughs> Caramba. <laughs> oh, this is Nancy, our maid. Oh, I, I love Neiman Marcus. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Nacho? Is that high? Chef! Not working out. <laughs> Let me introduce you to some of our friends. Here, Arthur, Arthur. Here are the parents of the bride, Arthur Carlson, her boss. Oh, yes, I know your mother. <laughs> Most everybody does. <laughs> nice to meet you. Uh, <laughs> and here, Lester Les. Uh, hello. My pleasure. It's nice to meet you. Oh, yes, my... oh. And uh, these must be uh, friends of yours. <laughs> oh, great! How's your back? <laughs> uh, say, can I, can I get you folks something to drink? As you can see, we have plenty of everything. I'll have a beer. You thanks. got it. Uh, Clarice, uh, how about you? Do you have a blender? What kind of drink is that? A margarita. I'd like a margarita. I'm feeling quite south of the border tonight. Oh, and a good feeling it is, too. Andale, andale, vamanos. Oh, uh, Hector, now! Oh! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, and, uh, <laughs> the future, Mr. and Mrs. Herbert R. Tarlick the Third. Oh, <laughs> oh, <my> <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, Herb, mm. how has Lucille managed to hang on to a hunk of a man like you all these years? <laughs> oh. Isn't this some place quiet where we can get to know one another better? <laughs> you shouldn't blame yourself for everything, Herb. I mean, most of what happened wasn't your fault. Yeah, after all, it was Lucille who pulled the gun. I know it looked a little strange with me and Mrs. Hightower in the shower together like that. A little. <laughs> but I, I was just trying to sober her up when she pulled me in with her. I know. I know. We believe you, Herb. How am I ever going to face those people again? Herb, uh, Mr. Hightower is here to see you. Oh, oh boy. Look, uh, look, just, just don't leave me alone with him, okay? I want a word with you, Tardik. Hi, Cleet. Good to see you. You know, we were just talking about you. <laughs> Alone. Oh, sure. Uh, okay. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait. 
Yeah, guys, just a minute. We're only a scream away. <laughs> Well, Cleet, uh, in a few hours, you and I will be uh, related. Just one big, happy family. Yes, sir. Have a seat. No, thanks. Fine. Herb, <laughs> when Cindy first told me she wanted to marry your son, the first thing I thought was, some yellow polecat is after my money. That was your first thought? Yeah. I figured Cindy had just been taken in by some gold digger. Imagine that. Or his family. Now, now Cleet, I, I think you got us all wrong. I don't think so, Herb. I think after that party last night, I got you pegged just right. You do? Yeah. You're a lot like I am. <laughs> I am? Yep. I'm just a country boy who came to the city to be a plumber. Well, I'm not that exactly. See, I was born... Herb, <laughs> I got lucky. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. I invented this little gimmick that goes on the plunger ball in a toilet tank, and it made me a rich man. Yeah, well, I've always heard it said that there's a little bit of Cleet Hightower in every toilet in America. <laughs> <coughs> just, just an expression. But deep down, I'm just like you, Herb. I'm a simple guy trying to get through life with a complicated woman. I heard that. Tequila makes my wife a little frisky. Yeah. Uh, look, Cleet, about last night... No what? explanation necessary. It's all forgotten. It is? Sure. You know, Herb, I don't care about the lyric opera or the ballet or trips of Neiman Marcus, but it makes Clarice happy. Mm. And in spite of all our faults, I really love her. Oh, I love her, too. No. Oh. I mean, I love my wife. I really love my wife, too. Have you told her lately? Well, I... She seemed a little upset last night. <laughs> oh, you mean the gun? Yeah. <laughs> that was nothing. <laughs> you should see her when she really gets mad. <laughs> Are you still in the doghouse with her? Mm -hmm. she, she'll get over it eventually. Oh, do something nice for it. Always works for me. Uh, can't afford anything nice. It ain't always the money, Herb. It ain't? Uh, isn't? Well, we've got a wedding to go to. Yep. I really like you, Herb. <laughs> I am so glad. Oh, you know, by the way, did I ever mention to you the, the advantages of plugging your toilets on WKRP? That's <laughs> nice <laughs> laser <laughs> there. They will be here, don't worry. I tell you, if Herb never comes, it'll be fine with me. Hello again, I'm sure. Hey there. <laughs> we want to sit on the groom's side. Okay. <laughs> and they said it wouldn't last. <laughs> oh, it's about time. Well, we've got a problem. What's wrong? They've eloped. If the wedding turns out anything like the rehearsal dinner, we just as soon miss it. Oh, I hope you're happy now. You've driven our son away. I've driven him away. What are we going to do now? I don't know. i got 50 pounds of cocktail wieners and a preacher on the clock. Oh. Uh, look, Cleet. Uh, let me talk to Lucille for a minute. Start the music in about two minutes. Okay, yeah. Um... Lucille. I'm not talking to you, Herb, which means I'm not listening either. Well, you're going to have to listen. In fact, you're going to have to do more than that. You're going to have to forgive me. Why? Because you always do. <laughs> God knows why, but you always do. I love you. Not now, Herb. This is a wedding. <laughs> Exactly. Will you marry me? What? Well, because Cleet's got 50 pounds of cocktail wieners to unload. <laughs> Look, uh, 
I know I'm not much of a bargain. And I don't know what kind of future I have. I certainly don't have much of a present. In fact, I had a pretty crummy childhood, too. <laughs> but that's neither here nor there. What I want you to know is everything I have is yours. Let's renew our vows. Oh, Herb, you're embarrassing me. That's a way of life. guy you busy i was just eating breakfast her yeah well if i don't get some help here i'm never going to be able to eat breakfast again and neither will anyone in my family what is it this time herb I, I really do my best around here but you know you know times are hard people aren't buying like they used to and since you took away my draw i, I just can't make it on commissions alone well things are tough all over her look i i am desperate big guy Hi, Dad. Mr. Carlson? Oh, little Herb. <laughs> what a surprise. Son, are you busy? Does it look like I'm busy? I'm just here begging for my life, but hey, come on in. I just dropped by to tell you something very important. <laughs> well, shoot, kid. I mean, what else could happen to me? I'm going to get married. <laughs> Baby, if you've ever wondered, wondered, Whatever became of me I'm living on the air in Cincinnati Cincinnati WKRC Got kind of tired of packing and unpacking Town to town, up and down the dial I'm gonna get married. Loosen his tie. What about the shoes? Take his shoes off. You take his shoes off. <laughs> Lift his, his feet above his head. Take his jacket off. That jacket would make anybody faint. <laughs> Slap him. Hard. <laughs> I can do that. No, 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 no. Just, just leave me alone. It's my fault, Emma. I guess I broke the news too fast. Yeah. I mean, why couldn't you just come in here and say, Good morning, Dad. Beautiful day. Oh, it looks like the Reds finally got the pitching. And speaking of strikeouts, I'm going to get married and ruin my life. Getting married is not going to ruin the kid's life, Herb. Why not? It ruined mine. <laughs> we are in love, Dad. You're too young to be in love. No, I don't know about that. Juliet was only 13 when she married Romeo. I don't think that really happened, Nancy. Yes, it did. <sighs> Could I have a few minutes with my ungrateful... Oh, uh, Hector, now! Oh! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen! <laughs> <laughs> 
and uh, Amber. <laughs> the future, Mr. and Mrs. Herbert R. Tarlick the third. Oh. <laughs> Tell me, Herb. Mm. How has Lucille managed to hang on to a hunk of a man like you all these years? <laughs> oh. Isn't there some place quiet where we can get to know one another better? <laughs> you shouldn't blame yourself for everything, Herb. I mean, most of what happened wasn't your fault. Yeah, after all, it was Lucille who pulled the gun. <laughs> I know it looked a little strange with me and Mrs. Hightower in the shower together like that. But... A little. <laughs> but I, I was just trying to sober her up when she pulled me in with her. I know. I know. We believe you, Herb. How am I ever going to face those people again? Herb, uh, Mr. Hightower is here to see you. Oh, oh boy. Look, uh, oh, no. look, just don't leave me alone with him, okay? I want a word with you, Tardik. Hi, Cleet. Good to see you. You know, we were just talking about you. <laughs> Alone. Oh, sure. Uh, okay. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, guys. Yeah, guys, just a minute. We're only a scream away. <laughs> well, Cleet, uh, in a few hours, you and I will be uh, related. Just one... Big, happy family. Yes, sir. Have a seat. No, thanks. Fine. Herb, <laughs> when Cindy first told me she wanted to marry your son, the first thing I thought was, some yellow polecat is after my money. That was your first thought? Yeah. I figured Cindy had just been taken in by some gold digger. Imagine that. Or his family. Now, now. Cleta, I think you got us all wrong. I don't think so, Herb. I think after that party last night, I got you pegged just right. You do? Yeah. You're a lot like I am. <laughs> I am? Yep. I'm just a country boy who came to the city to be a plumber. Well, I'm not that exactly. See, I was born... Herb, <laughs> I got lucky. Mm -hmm. You did? Yeah. I invented this little gimmick. It goes on the plunger ball in a toilet tank. And like you all these years. <laughs> oh. Isn't there some place quiet where we can get to know one another better? You shouldn't blame yourself for everything, Herb. I mean, most of what happened wasn't your fault. Yeah, after all, it was Lucille who pulled the gun. I know it looked a little strange with me and Mrs. Hightower in the shower together like that. A little. <laughs> but I, I was just trying to sober her up when she pulled me in with her. I know, I know, we believe you, Herb. How am I ever going to face those people again? Herb, uh... Mr. Hightower is here to see you. Oh, oh boy. Look, uh, oh, no. look, just don't leave me alone with him, okay? I want a word with you, Tardik. Hi, Cleet. Good to see you. You know, we were just talking about you. Alone. Oh, sure. Uh, okay. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, guys. Yeah, guys, just a minute. We're only a scream away. <laughs> well, Cleet, uh... In a few hours, you and I will be uh, related. Just one big, happy family. Yes, sir. Have a seat. No, thanks. Fine. Herb, <laughs> when Cindy first told me she wanted to marry your son, the first thing I thought was, some yellow polecat is after my money. That was your first thought? Yeah. I figured Cindy had just been taken in by some gold digger. Imagine that. Or his family. Now, now Cleet, I, I think you got us all wrong. I don't think so, Herb. I think after that party last night, I got you pegged just right. You do? Yeah. You're a lot like I am. <laughs> I am? Yep. I'm just a country boy who came to the city to be a plumber. Well, I'm not that exactly. See, I was born... Herb, 
I got lucky. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I did it this little gimmick. It goes on the plunger ball in a toilet tank, and it made me a rich man. Yeah, well, I've always heard it said that there's a little bit of Cleet Hightower in every toilet in America. <laughs> <coughs> just, just an expression. But deep down, I'm just like you, Herb. I'm a simple guy trying to get through life with a complicated woman. <sighs> I heard that. Tequila makes my wife a little frisky. Yeah. Uh, look, Cleet, about last night... No my... explanation necessary. It's all forgotten. It is? Sure. You know, Herb, I don't care about the lyric opera or the ballet or trips of Neiman Marcus, but it makes Clarice. Oh, uh, Hector, now! Oh! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, and uh, Amber. <laughs> the future, Mr. and Mrs. Herbert R. Tarlick, the third! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, Herb, mm. how has Lucille managed to hang on to a hunk of a man like you all these years? <laughs> oh. Isn't this some place quiet where we can get to know one another better? <sighs> La cucaracha. <laughs> You shouldn't blame yourself for everything, Herb. I mean, most of what happened wasn't your fault. Yeah, after all, it was Lucille who pulled the gun. <laughs> I know it looked a little strange with me and Mrs. Hightower in the shower together like that. But... A little. <laughs> but I, I was just trying to sober her up when she pulled me in with her. I know. I know. We believe you, Herb. How am I ever going to face those people again? Herb, uh... Mr. Hightower is here to see you. Oh, oh boy. Look, uh, oh, yeah. look, just don't leave me alone with him, okay? I want a word with you, Tarnick. Hi, Cleet. Good to see you. You know, we were just talking about you. <laughs> alone. Oh, sure. Uh, okay. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> yeah, guys, just a minute. We're only a scream away. <laughs> well, Cleet, uh... In a few hours, you and I will be uh, related. Just one big, happy family. Yes, sir. Have a seat. No, thanks. Fine. Herb, <laughs> when Cindy first told me she wanted to marry your son, the first thing I thought was, some yellow polecat is after my money. That was your first thought? Yeah. I figured Cindy had just been taken in by some gold digger. Imagine that. Or his family. Now, now Cleta, I think you got us all wrong. I don't think so, Herb. I think after that party last night, I got you pegged just right. You do? Yeah. You're a lot like I am. <laughs> I am? Yep. I'm just a country boy who came to the city to be a plumber. Well, I'm not that exactly. See, I was born... Herb, <laughs> I got lucky. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I did it this little gimmick. It goes on the plunger ball in a toilet tank, and it made me a rich man. I tell where's the bride, Clarice and Cleta. Oh. Oh. Welcome to Casa Tarlick. <laughs> Gracias, Lucille. The, the, the Spanish motif. Actually, it's Mexican. It's her idea. <laughs> Caramba. <laughs> oh, this is Nancy, our maid. Oh. I, I love Neiman Marcus. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nacho? Is it high? Chef! Not working out. Mm. <laughs> Let me introduce you to some of our friends. Here, Arthur, Arthur. Here are the parents of the bride, Arthur Carlson, her boss. Oh, yes, I know your mother. <laughs> Most everybody does. <laughs> nice to meet you. Uh, <laughs> And here, Lester Les. This is Les Lampsman. He works for our herb. Uh -huh. Hello. My pleasure. It's nice to meet you. Oh, my pleasure. And uh, these must be uh, 
Friends of yours. Craggy! <laughs> How's your back? <laughs> Say, can I, can I get you folks something to drink? As you can see, we have plenty of everything. I'll have a beer. You thanks. got it. Uh, Clarice, uh, how about you? Do you have a blender? <laughs> what kind of drink is that? A margarita. I like a margarita. I'm feeling quite south of the border tonight. Oh, and a good feeling it is, too. Andale, andale, vamanos. Oh, uh, Hector, now! And, uh, Amber. <laughs> the future, Mr. and Mrs. Herbert R. Tarlick the third. Oh, <laughs> <yay>! <laughs> Tell me, Herb, mm. how has Lucille managed to hang on to a hunk of a man like you all these years? <laughs> oh. Isn't this someplace quiet where we can get to know one another better? <sighs> you shouldn't blame yourself for everything, Herb. I mean, most of what happened wasn't your fault. Yeah, after all, it was Lucille who pulled the gun. <laughs> I know it looked a little strange with me and Mrs. Hightower in the shower together like that. But... A little. <laughs> but I, I was just trying to sober her up when she pulled me in with her. 